everyone. Today I'm talk about how to prepare、um, content in Maya, and then send to Stingray for VR platform. I'm Kiviku, Teleco Manager, Media Entertainment, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South China. And first of all, we talk about the workflow. So after this lesson, you will learn how to prepare model in Maya. Connect to Stingray and deploy in VR platform. So take a look on the workflow. First of all, we need to set up Maya and Stingray project, and then prepare our model and texture. As due to the posterior texture is not、uh, supported in real time engine, so need need to do some convert to file texture. Then we connect Maya and Stingray, then send the model over there. And also,、uh, in design stage, you will change the model a lot, so we need to update from Maya to Stingray. At last, we will do some animation using the story editor, and we test it and deploy in VR. So we will need to involve both Autodesk Maya, Stingray, and some VR devices. So in preparation stage, we need to install Maya and Stingray, and also the DCC link Maya plugin. So the location will be in C drive, Autodesk, Autodesk Stingray. My version is 1.8, and there's a subfolder named the X64 and Tools and DCC. There's a DCC link dot MSI installer. Just double click it and install to your machine, the workstation. Then you will be able to、uh, call up the menu. So preparation in Maya, you need to、uh, set up the working unit. As due to the、uh, VR platform is a real time, real scale, a real world scale model, then you need to、uh, go to the Maya preferences setting and change the unit into meters from centimeters. Also, the time to default is twenty-four and change to thirty. And after you install the DCC Link module plugin in Maya, you will have a Stingray menu in the top pull-down menu. You will use the connect disconnect live camera tracking and send selected option. In the right-hand side, you will find the、uh, option box that、uh, you need to. Turn on all the tech, and also include the update existing assets to update the model. Now is the time to prepare a model and shader in Maya. As mentioned before, that、uh, the VR is a real size model, real, real size scale. So imagine that I'm、uh, 1.7 meter height. If your model is、uh, two meter height, is too big. So you need to、uh, consider fit the model size in the right dimensions. Also, we need we use the hyper shader to create a model. We have the shader. So let's take a look on the Maya. I'm using the Maya 2018 version, and、uh, you see the attribute editor with scale one. Mean is a one meter height, and we go to the hyper shader. Simply create a phone shader.、Uh, whatever you use the default my default shader, V、uh, Ray shader or PBS shader, is supported for sync rate. So we just simply attach a word texture. It's a procedural one, and then assign your、uh, shader to the model. So in the Scene. We want to check out the、uh, scale it up a bit to the、uh, shader control and have a better look on the wood texture. Convert the file texture. So.、Uh, Talk about procedural texture is not supported, 
so we need to convert to simple UV file texture. So in here, we check that out on the UV editor. So you got the, the UV mapping there. And go back to the uh, turn on the uh, hyper shader. Select your shader and model and go to the hyper shader menu edit convert to file texture turn on the option box you need to check it out the texture size with the resolutions and also what one what you want to bake and also the anti alias option just press the convert and close it's done so let's go back to the UV editing you will see that all the second phases of the box will be have a texture. In the hype, uh, hyper graph, hyper shader, you will find a new shader and texture was created. So let's check out the texture file. The original procedural, procedural uh, texture is not uh, useful. That you use to, you can delete it simply. So it's done. Now is the time to go to the Stingray to prepare, uh, prepare the VR project. In Stingray, uh, there's a built in template library for you. So you no need to do a lot of stuff. Uh, like uh, if you use the XCD5 or Oculus, just simply select the template. So in the Stingray launcher, just click on the green button to launch your Stingray. There's a project manager. Go to the template tab and then select the XCD5 VR. Type in your project name and set a location of your project. In my computer, I'll go to the po uh, folder 1.8 and create a new folder called name cube. And then press create. And Stingray will copy all the necessary information files into your new project cube. And we will make use of this uh, sample file to put our model inside for the VR. So the Maya is ready, Stingray is ready. It's time to link them together and send the model. It's never been easier to send a model from a content creation to our engine with Maya and Stingray. And the left hand side is a Meyer, and the right hand side is the Stingray. Because of my monitor is not have enough resolution, so I need to pull up a little bit of Meyer. Go to the pull down menu, Stingray connected, and then also turn on the live cam tracking. In this moment, whatever you move the Maya window viewport or Stingray viewport, they are in sync. So I want to select my model and then go to the Stingray pull down menus in Maya, send selected and check on the option box. Make sure all turn on, then press apply and close. In this moment, the model with texture was sent to Stingray. Very simple operation. Uh, our model will be changed a lot due to the uh, customer request. So it's also very simple. Just press the send selected for Maya to Stingray. We update the model. You no need to care about the file and also the locations. In here, I will do some uh, simple modification of the model. 
uh, let's expand my uh, to full screen and call out the uh, modern menus I just simply use some uh, extrude to to modify one of the face of the box all right so I'm done to check out both software and I need to go back to the uh, object mode make sure I selected the model and uh, I will turn off the uh, live track to move a little bit space on the right hand side and then let you can see the update and press on stingray and send selected it's automatically update on the other side in stingray okay I want to change my design again to the original I need to send it again but just make sure I in the object mode and select the model and then send selected my model will update again all right modify materials in normal we fold we will create material in Maya and then send the model and material to shader to stingray and then update it sometime Oh, just a little bit uh, modification you don't want to do the process we can actually done it in stingray and edit in stingray so in the SS browser on the left hand bottom corner expand the content go to the model you will find a picture one is the model that we sent from the Maya and also a material folder with the shader select the shader in the right hand side is a popular editor you can modify those attributes like uh, roughness metal metallic or something and there's a lot of attributes for you to modify so you find the reflection on the model the shader environment so normally we do rendering in Maya with like rate change reflection or something like that in Stingray we have a real-time engine so everything's real-time so we have some features like uh, screen space uh, reflection screen space ambient occlusion devil field lens effect fox a lot of stuff in real time so go back to the stingray and if you'll find the floor have no refraction for, of the cube so check it out on the top right side of the explorer select the shading environment there's a bunch of uh, attributes select the screen space reflection and enable, enable it and you will find there's a refraction on the floor when you check it on and also you can change the threshold to change how amount how many reflection you need story editor and flow for complex and uh, character animation we will done it in Maya and send the animation clip to stingray sometimes we just do some simple stuff so we prefer maybe add it in the stingray instead of doing it in the Maya and handle those files and finally trigger the event in stingray so in the stingray there's a plus button just select the story editor so we do some animation on the box add the plus and add the box into the story editor and then which transform just click on the auto 
give him and then give him on the first zero time, and then go to time ten and then change the property editor to C three hundred and sixty degrees. Then we've done the animation for box rotation. So how we can it trick your dips? Simply go to level flow, press the tab in keyboard, and then type level or story. Then you got a level story, and select the story that you just created. And if I want to trigger the story play automatically, find the level flow look, then connect the output to play. So every time I load this level, the animation will play automatically. Just go back to viewport and press play to test the scene. So we will find the box is rotating automatically when the scene over the level was loaded. Oops, it stopped working. Uh, let's go to fix it. So we can go to back to the level flow. When it play once, it stopped. It. So go back to loop mode and then change the loop. Then we fix the problem. So after works, we go to we have done like model shader to stingray and then the animation. Then we want to go to the point in VR platform. It's never been easier to create a VR application with our solutions. So first of all, we have the step below. You need to save your level and then change the project. Do a script to point to your level, and then output to a location in your computer, and put a name on it. Then deploy it. In here, uh, I will move the model a bit on the back because I will in the VR I will stand on the middle, and then I go to file, save the level in the level folder with the name cube. And go to the access browser, go to the script folder and Lua folder, double click the project. A script editor will open. In 912, change the VR learning the default into the cube that the level that we just saved and then save it. In the property editor side, press a press button and then open the deploy. Set the location. Make sure you select the window tab, and then to make a folder called name the output. And okay, and also give a name for the output program. Press the package deploy for window, and wait. And finally, go to the system file and then check out my output deployment. Go to cube output folder and then development. There's a cube program is deployed. It's just simply if you have a workstation installed with proper display card and connect to the HTC Vive, then just copy the whole folder and double click it, you will be able to run it. So let's check it out how it performs in with the X65. Alright, so we will see a box over there. This looks like compressor, but uh, in my X65 it's, uh, it's normal. And uh, you will check it out, it's just a 1 meter height because I'm almost 1.7 and this is uh, rotating automatically when it started and also uh, if the scene is too big then all the like uh, moving it in the different area with this uh, green circle uh, will be teleport you into different places so it's very simple for the VR creation with my and Stingray So let's review the workflow. We need a Maya and Stingray 
from preparation, the setup, model, texture, connect it with the DCC link, update the design, do animation with story editor, test and deploy in VR platform. Here are some tips and tricks. For Maya uh, setup, you need to set the unit into meter and time to 30 frames per second. In Stingray, you need to select the exclusive VR template. In the DC link in Maya plugin, you need to check on the update existing assets for model update. Convert to file texture because uh, procedural texture is not supported. You know, so you can edit the material in Stingray with metallic and roughness in this uh, example. And the shader environment uh, provide you a real time reflection. And also, there is a lot of effect over there. The story editor help you to create a simple animation without go back for for Maya to Stingray. The flow node help you to trigger the animation, the story. Just type, uh, press the tab, and type the story and level. Then we will find the correct nodes. You need to save the level, change the project lure for the level lamp before you deploy. Find the deploy tab menu and then deploy an output. In the next, I will talk about my character to Stingray to show you how to uh, create a character in Maya and then send the both model, texture, and animation to Stingray for VR platform. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.